So, thanks. <laughs> So let's bring out our poet laureate. As I say, no big event with South would be, uh, be complete without Maury. Um, he's got a poem, a couple of others, I think, but one that, a short poem that inspired our fight back a couple of years ago with, uh, with all of you people. So please welcome Maury Anthony. get your finger out, or we're gone, where are we? I said, what can I do? Well, I was writing a bit of poetry and I said to myself, maybe I can put a poem together to help everybody get a lot more interested than we are. I rang and spoke to Ron Walpole on a Thursday and I went over and I did a bit of study. Friday I had it written, rang up Ron and read it to him. He said, George has got to hear this. Rang George, he was driving down Bulleye Pass. George says, tell Ron we put it on on Sunday. In the year of 1908, some rebels took a stand and the game of rugby league was born and spread across this land. But the place of birth was Redfern. That's where it had its start. A game made for the working class. A game that touched the heart. South Sydney's where it all began. The seed was planted here. You kill the seed, you kill the game, and we won't disappear. The history of rugby league is dressed in red and green. South Sydney's where it all began. The seed was planted here. You kill the seed, you kill the game, and we won't disappear. The history of rugby league is dressed in red and green. Thousands of games and thousands of tries, the greatest ever seen. A history of blood and guts we give was not a cost, and courage oozed like vintage wine, and hope was never lost. The day that Churchill broke his wrist five minutes into play, that year we won 11 straight, and the pennant came our way. In 70, the scrum goes down, the saddler breaks his jaw. The courage shown upon that day leaves us all in all. The mighty boot of Eric Sims, McCarthy frying free, the tackles of a Ronnie Coote, what a sight to see. The pack we had back in those days, you wouldn't find in church, but the man who led him from the front was a giant we called Lurch. He never took a backward step, the man was made of steel, a legend and a son of South a man called John O'Neill. Well, it's been a while since glory days, but winning isn't all. It's known that your team is there, tradition standing tall. And just like Michael Cleary flew, rabbits love to run. But now it's time to take a stand. We must unite as one. The players and the coaches have done their very best. Now it's time for us fans. We've got to do the rest. So let's all pack together now with one voice propose. Long live Lee, long live South. finishes with red and green so it goes with that. The day I heard that we were out I said, um, mate, there can't be rugby league without the red and green and I knew I had to write something. It took me 15 minutes. How can birds fly in the sky if there isn't any breeze? How can forests live and grow if they cut down all the trees? How can anyone achieve if they haven't got a dream? How can rugby league be played without the red and green? I can't imagine life on earth if we didn't have the sun and I can't imagine Christmas if Santa didn't come. I can't imagine living without love. What would it mean? And I can't imagine rugby league without the red and green. Thank you. <laughs> 